Hello, hello, welcome to my page again. All right, let's see what we got for you. We have a classic Ford, a nice 164 scale Ford Escort Cabriolet 1.6i. Now this is a rare car, people. You do not see this brand, this model, I mean, in other brands. And that's one thing I always say about Maisto, they make sure they pull up brands that other car brands, diecast brands do not have. And this is a nice example, I gotta say, it's a nice, nice example of what I'm talking about. This is a 164 scale, 164 scale by Maisto. And it looks good, I like the front, especially the front is very, very realistic. I like how the te the headlights are separated from the bumper, from the from the hood, from the fender, and then you got the bumper, black bumper. Like the front is like the back. I would have painted those tail lights. It would have looked good. It would have gave a lot of lot of prep on the car. Now the only thing it's a little bit weird to my eye is the shape of it. I'm not sure if they made the proper shape in the front I'm not sure if this is so up up high but they still tried and I gotta give credit when you try you do it it looks good and that's what matters right that's what matters I think this is more towards like a rally type because they put the number 28 on top uh, it's okay. I'm not crazy about rally cars. I like to see realistic. I hate to see all those numbers and, and decorations. But uh, I don't mind this, by the way. The 1.6i in the hood, I don't mind. Because it represents the car. The car is a 1.6. Alright, let's push it back in the middle. Stay there. Stay there. I demand you. <laughs> the gravity is because the dish is going round and round. Because I want you to have a look at all around the car. And the car moves it when the dish is moving. But uh, this is a nice nice, nice shaped car. I liked it. I see the... I think if I'm not mistaken it's uh, early 80s. Like an 84, maybe mid 80s to 85, 86. What do you think? What do you guys think? Let me know what around what year you think this 4 Escort is, is representing. But... Um, I see the gas cap there. It's like two door, like most of the convertibles are two doors. And bright, bright those bright colors that Maisto likes to use on on their cars is is good. It makes it stand out. It makes it stand out. I like how they make sure those tail lights are marked. Make sure that you know where the tail light is. And yeah, I mean, I it's rolling back and forth. Can you stay still? Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, buddies. But, you know, again, wants to move around. You know, I like the 143s because they come with a with a um, base. This ones you have to put them on top of the dish that goes around. And it wants to move around every time it moves around. It does not have an engine. No. It is a die cast. Yes, and it's a 164 scale. Yes, <laughs> I just want to make sure because as you see it moving round and round, and we back and forth, people might say, "What? What's going on here?" But you know, those wheels are my still typical wheels, but they they okay. They're smooth. They have suspension. They're not the greatest because again, it's a budget brand, so they're not gonna put the best quality into it. But I like it. I like it. I give credits. I give credit when the credit is due. The credit is due. And they came up with a model that no other 164 scale brand came out with. And that's one thing I always. I'm gonna say this in every video that I see happening because my store is doing, pulling out models that other brands did not take the time to do it. So they took the time, and they care. So I give them credit for that. And it's a nice car. What do you guys think? Let me know if you guys have one of these. 
if you guys collect one of these. If you guys ever drove for the bigger boys out there. If you ever drove the four Escort Cabriolets. I remember seeing them because I used to see them in, I mean, not much here, but I saw them in, in other, other countries. Now, I remember one time I saw one of these Cabriolets in New York. And I remember asking the lady, because I saw the lady as she was getting into the car, and I asked her, how did you deliver this car? She told me she brought it from Sweden all the way to New York. Because this model, we have for Escort. We had it. It's no longer made. But we also had the Ford Escort. It's just that in America, the Ford Escort was a very different Ford Escort that you guys had in Europe. And in South America and in Asia and the rest of the world. I think only in America, Canada, Mexico, I think. Only we, North America altogether. Only, it was the only countries that had a different escort. But again, follow me. Hopefully you're doing it by now. Because a lot more videos are coming up. Click that beautiful bell next to the subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next video. And hopefully in the next video, these cards don't move around so much. Stay still. I demand you. <laughs> okay, my friends. Stay safe. Take care.